Well, the high-end market is currently a slower market, uh, and no doubt the limitation on salt uh, is having an impact on the higher-end market. Uh, and consequently, uh, the northeastern states of New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, softer. Uh, California, I would say, is more affordability uh, issues. Uh, but right now, we are seeing a revival of buyer interest. Uh, one looks at the closing data, uh, it is a sharp increase in the latest month. Uh, and furthermore, we track some of the softer data, uh, such as opening up the lock boxes. Uh, we have a Century Lock uh, company that measures how many times the lock boxes are being opened to show clients uh, the home, uh, and that is rising. So the buyers are clearly taking advantage of the lower interest rates. That might be my new favorite economic indicator, uh, Lawrence. I didn't know you could track the lockbox activity uh, out there in the housing market. Diana, same question to you. What are are we seeing regional variability here, or uh, is it the kind of same message no matter where you look? Look, all housing is local. We say that right from the start. So in pricier market is, it, markets, it is going to be more difficult. It's just a question of supply at this point. We're seeing big markets with great economies, you know, in Dallas, in Austin, parts of Texas, or, you know, in Charlotte, North Carolina, or in Virginia, where you talk about the Amazon effect. You're seeing great demand. There is a lot of buyer traffic coming through these homes. The question is, will that traffic translate into closed sales? If mortgage rates stay low, you will probably see a more robust spring. But it was interesting today with the housing starts data as well as the pricing data that everyone was kind of on the fence. I talked to a lot of analysts who come out saying, you know, we think there's a lot of demand here. There should be all this pent up demand, but we're still worried about that affordability. On the bright side, I did talk to one builder analyst who said that big builders are starting to really focus on that entry level product. They've seen the demand there rising. It's not so much of a risk anymore, and especially for the big production builders who can build a lot of smaller homes more cheaply in a production line. Right. They are really finally going to be moving in there, and that is some good news. Lawrence, you mentioned the highest end of the market is weak. Do you see the, the lower end holding up? Uh, low end is very hot. Uh, in fact, anything that shows up uh, is being grabbed by the buyer. Sometimes multiple bidding still hanging around uh, in many markets. So the key is there is a demand, especially among the millennial generation mm -hmm. who wants to buy that starter home. It's just a matter of inventory choices. And okay. the consumers are saying they want to see 10 homes and not few homes. And right now we just need increased supply on the lower end. Yeah, I think we opened 30 lockboxes before we... Yeah. <laughs> found one we like.